the Army Navy 2018 preview and our picks. It's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books down there. You can find information on all six of them over at tunicatravel.com. Let's jump into this bad boy. One game, man. One game. That's it. That's all there is. There's also the Heisman Trophy thing. We're going to do a different video on that, but we'll jump into it. Army, Navy, 2 p.m. on CBS, Saturday, December 8th. It's at Lincoln Financial Field. Army is a seven-point favorite. The over-under is 40. Now, before we get into the actual game, you seen the uniforms? I like the uniforms. The uniforms are really, really cool. Army is a, a Navy not Navy, Nike school. Nike school. Army is a Navy school. What the hell am I talking about? That's weird, weird. Army is a Nike school. Navy is an Under Armour school. So obviously, there's already a little bitter, little bitter stuff going on right here. Uh, I like them though. The uniforms look good. They're classy. They're 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 cool looking. When I saw the the Army uniforms at first, I thought, man, those are really cool. But th- black and red. I like, and this is just my preference, I like, they got to have like a little white trim around it because those are the two hardest colors to read side by side. Yeah. Now, luckily, the, the numbers and the names are going to be different different colors. It's like right. gold, yeah. right? So, like the black and gold, that's, uh, that that's what West Point's thinking. Yes, and that, and that looks good. Um, I thought they looked really sharp. When I first saw the Navy uniforms, I was like, oh, they didn't really do anything special. Oh, but no, they I, did. But then I looked at them, and I was like, okay, I just I literally saw them at first glance. And and I and I didn't pay attention to any detail at all. They look sharp. The more I've looked at them, I, I really really like the Navy uniforms. The last couple of years, Navy has just overwhelmingly um, exceeded my expectations of what they do with the uniforms. Yeah, they're really really nice. Both both teams look fantastic. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm I'm hoping for snow. I hadn't looked at the weather yet. Yeah, I, like I the like snow when game, this game is like, is snowy. Both these teams play the same kind of style of football. Both game. triple option. That's both. right. That's now, what you got to do. But but Jeff Munkin has completely turned this Army program oh, around. totally. Navy had won 10 games in a row. Ken Niamatololo, I said it right. You, you did that well. He had he and, and Paul Johnson had completely flipped this rivalry on its head. Army was complete garbage for a long time. They bring in Jeff Munkin. He is a difference maker. He's unbelievable. Army is killing everybody on time of possession, on, on success and efficiency on offense. Their defense is playing lights out. They are turnover machines, man. That's right. They have been getting all kind of turnovers this year. Um, we're going to make it a short video because obviously it's only one game. Well, how do you feel about it? My my instant reaction is I think Army's going to win. I think Army's going to cover. That's exactly my deal. Now, what was the over under? The over under is forty. I think I'd go over. You'd go over the forty. Now I will say that Navy's offense has come on a little bit the last few weeks. Um, they've been covering games. They haven't been winning them. Navy's three and nine this year. Uh, Army is uh, what are they nine and two? I was about to say they got nine wins. They almost got yeah. 10 wins. They're they're nine and two right now. Um, they need this one to get to ten. And the first time that that they had broken the streak, they won twenty one to seventeen. Sure. And then last year in the snow they won fourteen to thirteen, and that was uh, that now, was in Annapolis. If if it is snowing and it's really nasty, then then maybe I don't like that over, but. I, I don't know. I think I think we're due for a game where both of them hit the 20s. I, I think I would agree with that. Uh, I think I'd like to see that, so maybe I'm biased. I've already got my bet in. I've got Army minus 7 yeah. on this. I, I like this team a whole oh, lot. No, no. I do too. Um, I think they are going to dominate Navy. And and they you know they went twenty one seventeen fourteen to thirteen but if you go back and look through like they Navy had a few wins like that as well That's right. but Navy also had some wins where it was thirty four to nothing thirty four to seven thirty one to set like it just just complete and utter domination and you think that the Army boys don't want to rub their nose in a little bit like this is a really bad Navy team and I think Army is really good this year oh I do so. too no I mean they're like I said they're gonna probably finish a ten win team and. You know, they win a bowl game at 11. I mean, that, that's a big deal. That's a big a deal big for them. big deal. I like it. All right, so uh, so that's both it. of us are Army minus 7. Uh, if the weather's clear, we're going over the 40. If it's uh, snowy, rainy, whatever, we're probably going under. Yeah. Um, I like it. That is our Army-Navy preview and picks for 2018.